Okay, my name is Jason Phillips. I'm a visual artist based in Detroit, Michigan. Through the years, I've done um, and experimented with a lot of different styles um, of fine art um, based off of what inspired me the most. My name is Shirley Woodson. I'm an artist, I'm a painter, a collagist, and a uh, mixed media artist as well. Yeah, my name is uh, Hubert Massey, and I'm a fresco muralist. Part of my practice is I do large uh, public pieces of artwork. I uh, come into communities, do community forums, and I celebrate communities by creating art. Uh, Jason Phillips and I met many years ago uh, in kindergarten. He was uh, the student, and I was a visitor mom in the class. I met uh, uh, Jason uh, through his uh, parents. He just, uh, he worked with me with the Summer Youth Art Employment Program. He's, uh, to me, he was a real talented artist. I knew from the, from the get-go when I first met him. But he was um, a very likable young man, full of life and inquisitiveness. When I was younger, I was very into Ernie Barnes, so I liked the um, elongated, e exaggerated, uh, figurative uh, type of paintings. All different types of artists, even um, Rembrandt, you know, I, I'm a style of his lighting and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I would see him in, um, in art shows. I was working for the Detroit Public Schools at the time. His works were always exceptional. And the majority of my work is just a reflection of my experience um, growing up in Detroit, growing up in Michigan, growing up in the United States as an African American. So I try and give a different perspective on social and political issues. I mean, he really engaged you. Many of his works were, you know, they made you have to really engage in another range of, of thinking, another way of thinking. Like the one that's over my shoulder. Uh, I, I've seen that in its early development and I was really excited about it. King Cotton was inspired from a group exhibition. The Arts League of Michigan did a group exhibit that touched on agriculture and how African Americans have um, had an impact on um, agriculture. And so immediately my mind went to Cotton and um, did a little research on cotton and uh, learned that, you know, that industry had an impact. I think that artists are kind of like a mirror um, to society and we show what, what we see, you know. I think that it's important for us to be able to document African-American side of living in America. He was very strong on civil rights, on the concept of freedom for African Americans, highly political, if we want to do the, all of the artists political, but you know, he, being a young man, I just thought he did that very well. Uneven Fight was a composition that I painted maybe about three years ago. The drawing was actually drawn in the early 2000s, but I never got around to the actual painting. But in light of recent activities um, in the Black Lives Matters movement, you know, I felt like it was time to go ahead and paint that painting. A lot of people um, who I've spoke to, a lot of elders um, felt like the painting was depicting just trying to buck against the system, fighting the police, being a rebel, but the, the piece is actually just depicting um, the uneven fight that young African Americans have with the judicial system, with law and everything. So Birth of a Target was um, fueled by recent events in the media uh, where we've been seeing like George Floyd just getting killed basically before our, all of our eyes. I really got to thinking about how much um, African Americans, in particular males, are targeted by the police. Uh, our youth are targeted by uh, campaigns and um, I just wanted to show that. And so in that picture, we have an African-American woman and she's giving birth, but that birth is actually a gun target. He continued to sort of a new, a branching out of his work in the tattoo world. And there, 
you know, he expanded, he expanded that whole, there are a lot of artists out there that I know uh, look at his work as a model for work that they do in a similar vein. There came a time uh, in my life where I needed a break from um, painting. During this particular time, I noticed that a lot of friends of mine were coming to me and they were asking me to do drawings uh, so that they could actually get the drawings tattooed. And they were doing so, and the tattoos were coming back looking horrible. And uh, I remember it was the 4th of July. Uh, we had a discussion on the porch while I was painting and my friends were telling me, you need to start learning how to tattoo because you can practice on me type thing, you know. And so, you know, I gave it a thought, you know. Um, and as I started doing research about the art of tattoo, it was actually interesting to me. Jason, over the, over the period of time, has really, uh, really uh, progressed as a, to me as a great artist. Uh, his ability to be able to interpret uh, stories and tell stories through uh, some of his uh, pieces is really inspiring. His range is wonderful. And uh, he's one of our wonderful, wonderful artists out there in the world. <laughs>